Hello and welcome to Nature Day's Outdoor Learning Resources, sponsored by the Gower Society. My challenge for you today is one that's much easier to do in the winter time when there's no leaves on the trees. We're going to do an angle investigation. Now this is a science or a maths investigation and you're going to have to create some equipment. If you have a protractor that would be useful but don't worry if you haven't you can always make one. Also you will need two sticks as straight as you can find them, a measuring tape or a ruler or a meter ruler you will need the results table from the nature days blog you will need a piece of string and maybe some scissors to cut the string first thing you have to do is make your angle finder so what we're going to do is we're going to lash these two sticks together so we start with our string we need to make a clove hitch so one loop with your string and another loop cross them over Put that over one of your string one of your sticks and tighten it up near to the end like that then take the other stick and place it at 90 degrees to your first stick okay now you're going to lash it but you don't want to make it too tight because you do want to be able to move these sticks so you just want it tight enough to hold them together so you're going to go over one stick under the next one over one stick under the next one and the thing about lashing the most important thing is to make it neat and to pull it tight but we're not going to pull it too tight because we want these to actually be able to move once you've been round three times you're then going to do your your whapping which means that you hold it upright like this and you go around one of the sticks pull it tight go around again and then tie it off with that piece of string there or you could do another clove hitch then once that's nice and secure you can then chop off any excess string with your scissors and there we have it we have our angle finder which is adjustable and we'll use that to measure the angles on our tree next you have to choose a tree now do not use choose one that's too tall because you won't be able to measure the height of your tree or get up to the highest branches to do the angles so choose one that you can either reach to the top or if you like you can use my other video on how to measure the height of things to measure how high it is if you've got a larger tree now we're going to look at this tree we're going to choose our trunk so I'm going to use this one here and as you go up you'll see that branches come off that main trunk and what we're going to do is we're going to measure with our angle finder what the angle of these side branches are so this is my first side branch so we move our angle finder until we make it the same angle as that side branch then we take that over to a protractor and we measure the angle on our protractor next take your meter ruler or your tape measure and measure how high from the ground that branch was so that's one meter up to there and then up to my branch which is 1 meter 48 so 1 meter 48 centimeters high and we have an angle of 30 degrees okay now we go back to our tree and we follow up until we come to the next branch and then we can measure the angle between that and the next branch then measure the height to the bottom measure the next branch and keep going and keep going until we've got all the branches from all of our trunk with all the heights on our results table now if you haven't got a protractor that's okay what you can just do is see if what type of angles you've got so all you need to know if they're acute obtuse or right angle and for that you need a right angled measurer which you happen to have two of so 
your hand like that, making an L shape with your thumb on your first finger, that is a 90 degree angle. So if you take that over to your tree, you can measure it against the angle and see if it's in between your fingers, then it's acute angle. If it's outside your fingers, then it's an obtuse angle. If it's all the way around, so it's in line with your first finger, you have a straight angle, okay? So you can then tally up the tree, how many acute angles down the tree, and at different heights, you can measure the number of different angles that you have. Once you've got all those results in your results table, the best thing to do to try and find the answer to that question, is there a relationship between the height up the tree and the type or the size of the angle, is to do a graph. Now, if you've just done a tally of the different types of graph, then you need to do a bar graph. So along the bottom, you're going to have the types of angle, and along the side, you're gonna have height up the tree. If you've measured the actual angle with a protractor, then along the bottom, you're going to have the degrees, and along the top, you'll have the size of the, along the side, you'll have the height of the tree as well. And then look at those graphs. If they just go up and down like this, then you've got no relationship. Nothing, no pattern happens as you go high up the tree. They don't get more acute or they get less acute. If it's going up in a straight line like this, then you can see as you get higher up the tree, you're actually getting more obtuse angles or less acute angles. If you go up the tree and then it goes down, the angle goes down, as you get higher up the tree, you're getting more acute angles. Okay, so have a look at your pattern and come up with a conclusion as to what you think the pattern is. And then you could even try it with another tree and see if the pattern exists in more than one tree. Last thing to do to finish off your investigation, you need to come up with an evaluation, which means what went wrong with your investigation? Did it all go work out? Was there any problems you had? I had a problem because my angle measurer snapped sometimes when I measured it at really acute angles. So I had to rebuild it with a new set of sticks, which isn't really accurate. Could be you couldn't reach the top of the tree or you weren't very good at measuring your angles or you might have been brilliant. And that's a good way of evaluating as well. You had great equipment. You could reach the top of your tree. You were really careful and accurate with your measurements. You took them more than once. And that's an evaluation as well. So if you undertake your investigation, I would really love to know what the relationship is between the height up your tree and the angle. Because really, I don't know. I've measured a few trees and I know my results, but I don't know about all the trees. So if we can combine our data set, we can find out if in all of our trees there is any kind of common pattern. And that'll be really exciting to find out. So if you do have an answer to that question of what happens to the angle of the branches as we go up the tree, please tweet it on tw Twitter with hashtag Nature Days or on the Facebook page. And I look forward to seeing you again for the next Nature Day Challenge.